Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a very special program entitled Music and the Bible, featuring trumpets and organ. Trumpet or trumpets is mentioned in the Bible 112 times in 103 verses. An instrument of pageantry, proclamation, and praise. Let's begin the program today with a piece of praise played by Stacy Blair in the St. Martin's Church of Garmisch-Partenkirchen, Germany. Today on The Joy of Music, we are featuring music for trumpet and organ. The organ, depending on how large or small, houses many kinds of trumpets. Trumpets of all sizes and timbres, played with hands and feet.
A trumpet is often an instrument of victory. Horizontal trumpets on the organ were first used in Spain, and whenever a victory was won or a battle won, those horizontal trumpets were sounded. One of the favorite ways to use these horizontal trumpets in houses of worship today is in a great hymn of praise. The fanfare for these hymns is played on the golden trumpets. There are various kinds of trumpets, the first trumpets being long, straight, and slender with no vowels. In the Middle Ages, the trumpets were looped back for compactness, and in the 19th century, the valves were added for ease in playing. One of the most interesting trumpets, and yet most difficult to play, is the piccolo trumpet, a small instrument used in the music of Bach's day.
We have heard the sounds of the trumpet as played on the organ and by a great trumpeter. There is also a very interesting trumpeter in the Cathedral of Freiburg, Germany. However, this trumpeter doesn't really play the trumpet. He just holds it. This carving of a trumpeter stands on the back wall of the Freiburg Cathedral, which houses four organs. When it is time for the organist to play a trumpet tune, he activates the trumpet stop, and the little trumpet man begins to play. Let's listen. Of course, the trumpet is a member of the brass family. And as we go down in pitch from the trumpet, we have the French horn, the trombone, and the tuba, which is the lowest of the brass instruments. The organ also houses brass instruments of all pitches, from the four foot and two foot, clear down to the 32 foot bombard. We hear now, however, a piece called tuba tune as played on the 16-foot horizontal trumpet of the organ.
The Bible often talks about the trumpet in combination with other brass instruments and other instruments of musical praise. Remember when Joshua was at the wall of Jericho and he blew the trumpets and shouted and the walls fell down? In Jude 17, 22, we are told that 300 people played the trumpets. And in 1 Chronicles 13, 8, David and all Israel played and sang praise unto God with harp, with psaltery, with cymbals, and with trumpets. In Numbers 10:2, the people were commanded to take two trumpets of silver that they may be used for the calling of the assembly together. A call for all who hear to worship, to come and bow down to their Creator.
Today on the program, we have featured the music of trumpets and other brass instruments, instruments of pageantry, proclamation, and praise. We end the program with a piece combining all of these instruments and the organ. Today on The Joy of Music, we have featured music and the Bible with trumpets and organ. In Psalm 150, we read, Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Praise Him with the trumpet. Praise Him with the organ. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.